Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Natasha and I want to talk about today my two bags and I wanted to do a comparison what can fit between my Louis Vuitton Rivington and the GM. And as you've noticed, it, be, it is in the Dami Eileen print um, versus my Louis Vuitton Turin PM. And it is, and this only comes in the uh, monogram print. The Rivington only comes in the Eileen print. If you can see side by side, the Rivington, it, I mean, it has, it, the size is comparable, okay? When you do it side by side, it's a little comparable, but the Turin definitely kind of looks a little bit smaller due to the fact that the top is very tapered and also the bottom is um, somewhat tapered as well. So let's start this off. Um, I'm going to start putting stuff in my Turin PM. This is what looks like empty. And the straps are over here because I'm not using this as my daily bag. My daily bag right now is just a different bag. It's my no way. So what I wanna start with is I wanna start with my iPad case right here. Put that in here. My Louis Vuitton agenda in the MM size. That would be a medium ring agenda. My small ring agenda or agenda in the PM size by Louis Vuitton as well. My pen case. My phone. Um, my mini pochette. And my no way is just right there. Um, my Victorine wallet. My cosmetic case. Um, it's beginning to look kind of tight, if you can see. It's beginning to look really tight in here. So I'm gonna have to maneuver and figure out how to put everything in. Okay, so I have to move my pen case a little bit. I don't think my sunglass case is gonna fit. So what it looks like with a sunglass case. Um, let me try and fit my two of my key pouches. These two would definitely fit because they're, they're a little compact. Okay. And let me just close that up. It's really tight and it's puckering. See, it's wavy. You see that? So I'm not really comfortable with that. It's a little too tight for me. Um, let me see if I can maneuver that right here. So um, I'm gonna still put the same amount, but I'm just gonna fit them a little bit differently. So this is what it's gonna look like. It still has the same amount of stuff. It's still waving up, guys. So it's still puckering up, if you've noticed, and it's not a complete straight line and what what this will do is stress out here and here because it's a little too tight and through wear and tear that will just slowly rip the um, the zipper through wear and tear and time of continuous use so what I'm gonna try and see is I'm gonna put my phone this is, this is a Samsung s6 I believe it's kind of old um, and I'm gonna put it down in the other pocket the big pocket side right here instead of right here to see if that might be a little bit better. And it is. So it was the phone that was kind of puckering it up a little bit. So let's see what else I can put in here. I definitely cannot put in my sunglass case. Um, so I think this is actually it. Maybe I can put a glove just to see. That's my Ugg glove. Yeah, I can only put one glove. And who wears only one glove, right? We have two hands, not one. Um, so that's really just it. This is what it looks like completely full. Right there. It's so beautiful. Look at that. It's so cute. This is, I love using these when I want to be a, little, a lot more compact, especially in the warmer months. It's just, it's perfect for me. It's beautiful. Okay, so everything that I have in here, 
I'm gonna put in the Rivington and let's see what's gonna fit. So I'm gonna put in my iPad mini case. I'm gonna slide in the medium ring agenda. My small ring agenda or the agenda in the PM size. My mini pochette. A lot of times um, I have, because of just the bag that I use, I have used, I have been bringing, and also the lifestyle that I'm currently having right now, I haven't been bringing my um, small ring agenda or the agenda in the PM. I've been bringing my MM um, for a few weeks now. So this is my cosmetic case. My pen case. My Victorine wallet. My key pouches. Okay, where did I put these? Oh, there's a pocket here in the back. Okay. My phone. I'm gonna put that in the pocket as well. And my tureen is now empty. Okay, let's and this is what it looks like for the Rivington. It has a lot more space, like right there. Can you see it right here? Right there. You have a lot more room. So I'm gonna put in my sunglass case. I'm also gonna put in some very thick gloves. These are Ugg gloves. And this is what it looks like. It can still fit a lot. I'm gonna put in um, a fleece scarf. Just gonna fold it like so. Put it in here. And this is what it looks like now. Let's see how it looks like all zipped up. And it's a perfect fit. So with all of that, um, it looks kind of wavy, but it's really not. It's it is perfect fit. I don't think I can add anything else in it. Um, maybe my car keys, but um, it this is it. It does fit a lot, a lot more um, than the Trend PM. I mean, it can fit a pair of gloves. My sunglass, my hard case for my sunglasses, and a fleece scarf comfortably. And there is, you know, it's not too tight in which it's puckering up or it's stressing out the zipper. And let me try and see if the hat can fit in here. Yes, the hat can fit definitely comfortably. And again, you guys, I don't really, I don't pack my bags this full, but... This is just for comparison for anyone that's curious out there and might be interested in these items. So there you go. Um, the difference is you can fit three, three bulky items like a thick um, winter glove or a pair of thick winter gloves, um, a big hard case, and a fleece scarf. That's how it looks, completely folded. You can fit all three of these on top of what you can fit on the Trend PM. These are the items that you can fit in the Trend PM comfortably. Um, if you need more space, the Trend PM is going to come up short or you're going to have to maneuver and figure out which ones you really don't need to bring with you so that you can utilize the Trend PM during the colder months or that you want more stuff in it. Um, this is definitely my go-to um, bag now when it comes to downsizing. It definitely is, and I love the fact that I could use it crossbody as well as the shoulder bag. I just, I love it so much. Um, I love this so much that I was contemplating on getting the MM or the GM size. However, the straps are somewhat really thin for me. And I noticed that when I do put in my iPad, 
my iPad mini in it because it's kind of heavy. It does kind of dig in my shoulder and I don't really like that. So that made me um, decide not to get um, the Turin MM and the GM as well. Um, so yeah, that really changed my outlook on that. And um, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna look for a different model bag because of that. Something with a little bit thicker strap. So thank you, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my comparison video between a Louis Vuitton um, Rivington GM versus a Louis Vuitton Turin PM on what can fit in both bags. If you have any questions, comments, um, feel free to do that down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love having new people join my channel family. If you have any questions, comments again, you know, feel free to put that down there in the comment section down below. All this information, um, there's always going to be links in the description box to help you guys and it will be a little bit more convenient for you if there's certain things you're interested in then I'll put links down below and any kind of related videos also going to be down below so do check them out um, I have a lot of other videos that are related to this and do check them all down down there if you want to contact me or follow me through Twitter or Instagram information is down below as well Thank you guys for stopping by, watching my video, and stopping by on my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.